Well, how y'all doing? I see you made the first half of the holiday too. We're going into the second half. We just got to make it through New Year's. I have a few projects I want to do. It's going to require me to build a set of sawhorses, actually a couple sets. I need four of them. I've got some old sawhorses I've had for about 10 years. They're getting kind of rickety. I build them with the little metal things that you put on them. They never have been that sturdy. I wanted to build a little sturdier pair because I've got to do some heavier work. There's nothing worse than having a sawhorse shift around on you while you're trying to do something. So today I went out to Home Depot, bought some 2x4s. We're going to build those sawhorses. I'll be the first to tell you, these ain't my design. You can find this design done by quite a few people on YouTube. If you build them the way they say, you can build a complete set that's two sawhorses with five 2x4s. I'm actually going to build them a little different. The gist of it's the same, but I want to build it a little bit longer. I'd like to build the top of mine four foot wide instead of 32 inches wide. So instead of taking 10 2x4s to build a set of two, it's going to take me 12 2x4s to build a set of two. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this and I'll show you how to do it. These saw horses are very easy to build. You can use regular tools that anybody has, a skill saw, a drill, a square, a speed square, tape measure. I've got a level there. If you cut these to size, like they say, you don't even need the level. They will be level. And then some construction screws to put it together. And if you don't have a saw like this, you can use a hand saw. You can also use a screwdriver. It's just easier when you have tools like this. It makes the job go quicker. That being said, I do have a compound miter saw, so I'm going to go ahead and make my cuts with that because it's just a little easier to do. A little easier and a little faster. Well, here's the parts I needed. I've got four sets of four foot long two by fours for the I-beams of the top. And I've also got four sets of 30 inch for the legs on the bottom. I'll go ahead and show you how to put that together. In order to make these saw horses less wonky and more secure when they sit on the ground, you want this I-beam to be centered. Time for a new battery. Now this is one of the old saw horses I built about 10 years ago. I just used these steel little clamps, throw a couple screws in some legs and one screw in the middle. And you can see I've added screws to it on all of them, but still you can see how rickety these things are over a period of time. And they were like that from the beginning. They really didn't have much clamping power on there. This is something you didn't want to set some planks on and step up on them and work off of them. Decided to make a new set of heavy duty ones and now I'll show you those. These have a little bit taller legs than the other ones. This I-beam holds it all together. You can see this. I'm trying to shake this thing and it's not moving. You turn this around and you can see how these are connected. It's an I-beam and these 2 by 4 screw into this bottom of the I-beam and the center of the I-beam. You can see here I've put four screws in it. I've got four screws in the top, four screws in the bottom of the I-beam, and these are solid. And the nice thing about them, they're also stackable. It's time to put them up in your shop and stack up nice and pretty. 
It took me about 45 minutes to cut the lumber, put it all together, and build these. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Maybe you can build yourself a set to keep in your shop for when you have those little projects. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer them. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. God bless.